For a student who lost a leg after an altercation with a teacher, angry that the school never gave them video of the incident. Channel 2's Richard Elliott live outside Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, Eggleston, with how that student's recovery is progressing. Richard. Doctors were forced to amputate 13 year old Montrevious Thomas's leg after the altercation. The district says witnesses say he was up and walking around after the incident, but a new video shows a teacher carrying him out of school, and his attorneys are upset to see it. This is the video that has Montrevious Thomas's attorney so upset. We obtained it through the website All on Georgia Muskogee. Thomas claims teacher Brian Mosley body slammed him in class. The district claims Mosley simply restrained him because he was acting up. Despite the Muskogee County School District issuing a statement saying Thomas was up and walking around after the incident, you can clearly see that teacher carrying him out of the school. It also shows Thomas unable to put weight on the leg, so the teacher lifted him up and carried him to a school bus. At no point did anyone at a school call an ambulance. After Thomas complained his leg hurt and had gone numb, doctors later had to amputate it. The video thankfully confirms everything that our client has told us and has told us consistently from the very beginning. The family's attorney say they filed request after request to see any and all videos of Montrevious in school but never got a response. So when this video suddenly appeared, they were upset. They know that video is out there. And to continue saying this boy was walking around and was okay after the physical altercation that he had with this particular teacher is incredible. Montrevious's mom says her son is doing better, but still trying to adjust to life with one leg. She says seeing that video made her angry too. I was very angry about that. Um, when I seen the video um, of them walking him out and when the teacher's smiling on the camera, also I, I, was, I was too hurt about that. The school district emailed me a statement that said it will continue to review this incident. We are live in DeKalb County, Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.